to talk to you today about a feature on your joystick piloting system called auto heading. What auto heading does is when our boat is up on plane and we're running through the water, I can press auto heading and it'll actually lock me in my heading position for as long as I want. So I'm gonna walk you through how it operates, how we're gonna activate it. So we'll go from there. So I'm gonna put the boat in gear. I'm gonna start getting some speed through the water. Auto heading works really well when you're in that wide open body of water. Uh, works really good at higher speeds. So we'll get some speed moving. And once I like the heading that I'm on, just gonna turn just a little bit here. I'm gonna lock in right here. Press the button. My light just turned illuminated and I'm locked into this heading right now. So as long as I want, the boat's still gonna keep heading in this direction. Now some things can happen um, with wind and current where it might blow us off maybe or push us off course a little bit. And sometimes you have to make corrections to do that. So some corrections you might wanna do uh, revolve around your joystick. So the joystick actually has some corrections built into it. So if I actually tap the joystick to the right or to the left, I'm just gonna tap it to the right once. You heard a beep and it's actually a one degree correction. So if I would do another beep here, another tap, did five of them there, so that's about a five degree correction. So it's just gonna change my heading five degrees, but it's still gonna keep maintaining that heading. Sometimes you might wanna make maybe a larger correction than that. And for that, we have our turn buttons on our precision pilot pad. So these turn buttons, when I press these, these are actually 10 degree corrections. So I'm just gonna press my right turn button. Pressed it once, you heard the beep, and it's just gonna turn the boat 10 degrees to the right. I wanna go 20, I can press it again, and now it's, I'm at a 20 degree correction. Still gonna maintain a heading, but it's just gonna be 20 degrees off from what we, we originally started with. Sometimes it comes up in the water here where maybe we're heading out and we come up to a boat or maybe there's an ob obstruction in the water and I need to steer around it. You can grab the wheel and, and drive around it. And if you actually touch the wheel, I'm actually feeling some tension because the boat is actually in control right now. But if I just gave a little effort to break past the wheel tension, I now have control of the boat and I could steer around this obstacle. And if you actually notice on my precision pilot pad, my resume button is actually lit up. Resume means that I came out of auto heading, but if I want, I can lock back in. So I could drive around my obstacle and I could press my resume button and it's gonna resume me back onto that same heading that I originally started with. So I'm still in auto heading, still moving along and it's gonna go like this as long as I want it to. So if you got questions on this or you wanna learn more about these features, check out your owner's manual or visit us online at mercurymarine.com for more videos on our Mercury products.